All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Fishing in the Arctic Tundra. No, not really, but this is um, Texas, and it's snowing, so that's that's pretty rare. So instead of going fishing today, I decided to show you guys what I have in my tackle bag. So we'll get to that. All right, well, first off, this is... Uh, I'm in my sister's room because uh, got a fish. I have a fish tank in my room that's pretty loud, so I didn't think that you could hear me that well with that. So we're gonna start off with the the outside pockets. There's like this is my old soccer bag, by the way. So there's a pocket right here and a pocket right there. So we'll start with those. First off, I have just some braided line. I just got a couple of line spools in here. 30 pound test right there. And the braid was 50 pound test. And then, really old spool, you can't even see that, but that's 15 pound test. So I just keep those in there. And then I got a scale right here. And then sunglasses, more sunglasses. And that's all for that that pocket. Alright, so I got the pocket open. Finally, I think it gives me a little trouble sometimes because it gets caught in this net thing. But, so I got three of these, um, I don't know what you call these, like lure holder things or whatever. But basically what you do is you just open it up. I use this whenever I'm like putting my rods in the car or whatever. You put this over your lure and then with the Velcro. And then it just stays like that, and then I got three of these. And then it just stays like that, and it can't hook on anything whenever it's closed. So, and then I got this old bobber I found. I'm just going to use that for gar fishing, as well as this wire leader, so they don't bite through the line. And I got a bell for, like, catfishing and whatnot. And then some surf fishing rig. That I just use in the ocean, you know, it's double hook rigs. And then this thing is really cool right here. It's called uh, like a yo yo. So, what you do is you get, um, has a hook on the end here, right here, and you, you pull it out. You pull it however deep you want, however deep you want it to be. You pull out that amount of line, and then you just you get the clip thing right here, and you put it and lock it in place. And then whenever a fish bites that, it'll release and start reeling that in. And it's like, it's it's slow pressure, so it'll just tire the fish out eventually. And you leave this as a trap with bait on it. And you just tie this rope around like a tree or something. Leave that in the water there. And then I've used it, it works well for catfish a lot, and you'll, um, you'll probably get a bite on it since it, you leave it out for so long. It's a pretty cool thing. On next, it, next up is my taco boxes and soft plastics. All right, so this is what it, what's in my main pocket of my, um, my bag there, now I'm empty bag. So the first item is this funny looking thing. So this is actually, a uh, I like a GoPro mount, GoPro chest mount kind of thing, but it's for your iPhone, so I just bought that in case like my GoPro died while I was fishing, and I really need to keep filming it, so that's an interesting little thing. Um, first, we're going to go with these soft plastics, this pile of soft plastics. So the first thing I have is these tournament series garlic scented worms, so I, I really like these actually a lot. They work really well in the summer. They're black with um, chartreuse tail. And then just got these shrimp things, you know, for the ocean to put on jig heads. And then a couple of zoom flukes. Now these, I actually have two of these. So I got these in a mystery taco box. I have no idea what to do with these. I guess you could put them on a jig head maybe? or a swim bait hook maybe, but look pretty good. I just don't know how I'd use them. So I'll try to figure that out later. And this bag just 
kind of broke, so I had to put a new bag. But these are um, Yum Curly Tail Worms. I really like this color too, and that they got really good action. These are really these are some of my one of my favorite baits. I like those. Got this from my mystery talk box. Also some of these vicious worms, and then I just just decided to condense <clears throat> condense these uh senkos into one package. So got some browns, greens, whatnot, and a random fluke. I don't know why that's in there, but so I got a big box of senkos. I only have a couple of these left. But, um, these Paca Slim net bait crawfish. I really like these. These are actually really good. I put a bunch of those on the back of my jigs. And then one of my favorite baits ever is the Yum. Um, I don't really know, but this uh, kind of fluke in this color, which is, can't really read that anymore. I don't know. You can't even see that, but whatever. And then I have some coffee scented Strike King Rage Tails. And last but not least, uh, the Berkeley Power Bait Ripple Shive, which I put on these jig heads right here. Oh yeah, I also forgot one last thing for uh, one last thing um, is this um, box. It's like kind of a couple inline spinners that I have. I have this black one and then this fire tiger, I guess, spinner. It, this thing's weird looking, Shrek lure. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what this is really. Shrek color, I guess. And then a uh, small little swim bait. I used to use these all the time. Don't use them that much anymore, but these work really well for crappie and bass and stuff. And then just random small bobber. I don't know why that's in there. But there's that box. Now let's move on to the tackle boxes. All right, now going to the main event of the two tackle boxes that I have. So starting off, they're not very organized. I try my best to keep them organized, but doesn't always happen very well but so this is sort of my turn terminal tackle box if you want to call it that i don't know kind of got yeah, this is kind of swim bait stuff swim bait jerk bait stuff these are a couple swivels i got and then like, some miscellaneous texas rig stuff with extra wide gap Let's see some extra wide gap hooks these are just some regular catfish hooks. Then mixed weights. I have some. Here, let me get this small. No, small split shot weights to pyramid weights and kind of everything in there. And then I do have like small hooks around here. Like those are some smaller hooks for like panfish and stuff. But they always just get end up getting like tossed around the whole box so it's like mixed in which is not great and I have a pair of snippers in both my boxes because these are great for cutting line that's what I always use so I have this actually I kind of made this lure I just turned it in from a, a regular jig and then I put this grub on the back and I think that looks pretty well I would use that so got that lure jigging spoon kind of thing just a couple extra plastic things, a couple swim baits, double swim bait, road runner thing, small Alabama rig, then a couple of, I don't know what you call these, really bass weights, I guess, that's what I use them for, just Texas, Texas rig stuff, curly tail worms, alright, so I got this, uh, nice jerk bait, and then, these, uh, two swim bait things gigantic spoon that I found from an old tackle box uh, I don't exactly know what this is really it's just some kind of sinking twitch minnow thing I haven't tried it out yet I'll have to use it that soon and then I've got this kind of big swim bait thing and then I have this uh, bluegill swim bait that my friend gave me 
I've yet to use it, but I'm I'm sure to use it. I'm sure I'm gonna use it next spring. It looks really nice. And then uh on to the next box, which is just all lures. I have my top waters, which is my biggest um biggest section right here. So I got this big head and spook. And then I actually found this bait brand new. The top water top water bluegill. And then who the popper. Cool mouse bait. Got a couple another spook. Popper. Another popper. Frog. Nice frog. I really like that one. Another frog. And then I got a whopper plopper, which I also found brand new, basically. That was pretty sweet. And then a white buzzbait and a black buzzbait. I don't really use buzzbaits that much, but I have them. I just have a pocket knife right there. And then two like chartreuse color spinner baits there. And then this I have actually two of these here. Let me get, get this one out. Both got these from the Mystery Tackle Box. Really nice lipless crankbaits. They're like fifteen, sixteen dollars. Really good ones. And then nice another lipless crank. And then these two I also found. I recommend looking for lures like on the side of banks and stuff because you'll find some and a lot of times they'll be really really good and I just use them and they're perfectly fine next up is crankbaits I've got this medium diver dives about like I think seven or eight feet nice looking one and then another link there is a square reel by um, H2 Express Squirtle. And then I got this nice crappie pattern crankbait. Haven't tried it out yet, but it looks pretty sweet, so I'll use that soon. And then I found I found these two. Shark, one of them is a, a chartreuse deep diver. And then uh, just regular crankbait. I don't know. Another one I found. Then I got on to the last but not least, I have just chatterbait and then all these are jigs. Black and blue is usually my favorite color. Black and blue, green pumpkin. That's what I usually do with my jigs. So I got that one. Three fourths ounce football head jig. And then another, same thing. And then I got, let's see. Swim jig with that, uh, where, let me see it. These, uh, pack of slim. Use that as a trailer. And I just use some generic crawfish thing. I don't know what I use as a trailer for these. And I just got a little rattle. I don't have it on any of my baits right now, but a little rattle there for a little extra noise in the water. And then I got this flat top jig. That's pretty sweet. It just lays like on the bottom, good for like rocky places. Up like that, well it just fell. And then just got this twin tail grub to put on another jig and then another flat top jig. This one's in like watermelon red. Another, again with the pack of slim crawl trailer, really like that. And then I just got this beaver thing I found. Might use that out some. Might use that sometime. And then last but not least, I got this small little finesse jig. I don't have a trailer on it yet, but I will soon. All right. Well, hopefully, I'll be able to make a fishing video this weekend sometime, even though it's really cold. And I do have another video coming for my uh, trip I just took. Which should be pretty good. So uh, hopefully, you like the video. Leave a like on it, comment, and make sure to subscribe.